text functions. Let's say here I'm extracting Excel workbook and then I'm loading that same Excel workbook. <clears throat> See here, here in this application it is having, in this Excel workbook, it is having some duplicate kind of information. Let's say to removing that duplicate kind of information, let's say you need to click on that remove, 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 and then you need to click on remove rows and select remove duplicate rows option. Let's say whenever you click on that remove duplicate rows option, let's say it will delete that duplicate data information. Okay, let's say next uh, someone is asking to uh, like properties. First one is that enable load. Let's say if it is having in Power Query level, in Power Query level, if it is having any any unnecessary tables, if we don't want to load that unnecessary tables, then we can disable that enable load option. Let's say I'm taking copy of this uh, copy of this sheet one sheet one. So right click on that table, creating duplicate. Let's say this sheet one I don't want to load. I want to load only sheet two. I want to load only sheet two she, sheet one i don't want to load okay so in that scenario what we will do means let's say simply we will click on close and apply let's say before going to close and apply we need to disable that enable load option once if you once we disable that enable load option this table will not load into our power bi desktop this table will not load into our power bi desktop let's say now if you want you can observe that See, observe here how many tables it has loaded. Only one table it has loaded into Power BI desktop. But if you observe in Power Query level, it is having two, two tables. Two tables. Let's say, but I don't want to load that first table into Power BI desktop. Then those kind of scenarios, we will disable that enable load option. Next one is that include report refresh. Let's say if we disable this option and particular table, let's say we will not, we will not load that updated information whatever the data it will coming to daily basis to updated that updated information we will not able to load power bi desktop whatever that up to that up to loading up to disabling that enable load option whatever the information it is having that information only we will load that information only we will load into application okay clear see now let's say in real time point of view while you are extracting the data from uh, while you are extracting the data from uh, this excel workbooks excel workbooks let's say they will mention some headers let's say how we need to remove that headers let's say this is our text function let's say see we will implement uh, some header header of the row let's say header of the row and mentioning it as a text function so that is unnecessary in real time they will mention as a company name and excel sheets let's say we need to remove this column we need to remove this row and we need to fetch this row as a header how we can implement that we will see now let's say i'm coming into power bi and again i'm extracting the table text function click and open let's see Selecting that particular table and click on OK. Let's say here column one, column two, column three text functions. This information, this headers information is unnecessary information to us. Let's say we need we need that first row, first row, whatever the first row it is having, that first row information we need as a header. So to fetching that first row as a header point of view, we will use this use first row as header. Once we use that use first row as header column, then then it will it will migrate to that first row information first whatever the header information it is having that header information it will remove and that first row information it will become as a header. Manak mundo header ga yadite unto do a header information ani the remove ay poye manak tarvada yeh header ga yadite generate aotundi generate aotundi. 
let's say next one is that next one is that let's say here it is having three option and manage manage it is having three options one is that du delete duplicate and reference it is having three options okay let's say now we can observe let's say we simply simply observe right click on that particular table if you click on delete option let's see it will delete that the table will be delete permanently okay delete will be del uh, that application that table will be delete on application itself let's say next thing is that we have two options we have two options let's say duplicate and reference let's say in interview point of view it is important question important things so both real time uh, both duplicate and reference table both would be important only let's say for under easy understanding purpose i am removing this table also let's say in this table in this table observe i am implementing some operation like simply removing that duplicate rows of information click on this table remove duplicates let's say now here i have deleted that duplicate information let's say now what i am doing means let's say right click on that particular table click on click on duplicate table and this is the duplicate table and at the same time what i am doing means let's see i am right click on this particular table and generating reference table reference table observe you only tell me what is the difference between uh, uh, this reference table and duplicate table you can observe this pane and once it is showing all applied steps applied steps okay let's say next what is the use of this applied step means let's say if we want to go back one step back if you want to go back one step back if you want to go one step back one step back ellali anukunte manaki ikkada deni implementation cheyachu right right let's say manaki ade ee reference table ku vaste manaki applied steps anedi ikkada levu so applied steps anedi visibility lo levu kaabatti oka step back anedi vellalemu vellalemu let's say another thing is that let's say observe observe let's say for uh, let's say for uh, this duplicate table and The reference table what is the sources information whatever that from which table we have generated that is the source of reference table let's say from sheet 3 we have generated two files from sheet 3 we have generated two files one is the duplicate file and another one is that reference file for reference file the source is from which file we have generated that is the source it mean to say parent file is that sheet 3 only okay let's say if we coming to duplicate table duplicate is for the duplicate source is our original database file let's say simply we can say duplicate means it's a backup when we want to take a backup then we will use that duplicate table our original table whatever the functionality will have that duplicate table will have that all the functionalities let's see if we did any kind of modifications if we did any kind of modifications while creating that table while creating the reference table if you did any kind of modifications it will impact the reference table but it will not get that applied steps but if we coming to duplicate table while creating that while creating duplicate table while creating the duplicate table with whatever the applied steps it is having that complete applied steps it will get once that applied steps has been creation once that once that duplicate table has been creation then it won't then it won't there is no relationship to parent table parent table and then then relationship like the child table it is 100% it will having that relationship relationship why because of uh, the source of reference table is that parent table only the source of parent table is that parent table source of uh, source of reference table source source of reference table is parent table only let's say now if i did any kind of modification on parent table let's say will apply will it applicable to duplicate table or not reference table so if we did any kind of modifications it will impact to reference table 
let's say if we coming to duplicate table if we did any kind of sorry if we did any kind of modifications on parent table it will not implicate a duplicate table why because of there is no relationship now you can observe that difference let's say in sheet 1 sheet, sheet 1 three table let's see i am removing just for simple transformation i am applying let's say here i am removing top five rows say so observe observe that modification is impacted to duplicate table oh. no no let's say is impact is it impacted to reference table yes let's see that complete modifications will impact to reference table why because of the source table is that then the reference table go parent sheet 1 3 ane sheet 1 3 ane the source so and because manadi sheet 1 3 lo manam change chestam ante source lo change chestam ante automatic reference table lo change avutayi clear let's say if i did any kind of modifications on reference table oka row remove chestunnanu kaalante observe cheyandi let's say 6 7 8 9 and 8 unnai see 6 7 8 9 10 lo nunchi oka row remove chesanu ikkada reference table lo but it has not impact to our sheet one let's say if we coming to duplicate table duplicate table is also not impacted let's say here here in this duplicate table let's say if i did any kind of operation let's say it is not impact to any other table let's say by because of let's say source will be different source will be different then key source enti ante me original table original original excel table let's say here if i click uh, remove top seven rows let's say it is not impacted to this reference table and it is not impacted to our sheet 1 3 sheet table one. if uh, if we try to delete that reference table we cannot able to delete sorry if we tr try to delete this parent parent table we cannot able to delete then base cheskoni manam inkoka table implementation chesnamo implementation chesnam that we can able to see on query dependency manam query dependency lo reference table anedi clear ga chestam kabatti manam ikkada danni use cheyalemo okay now what is the use of query dependency what is the use of query to see that relationship from where the data is going from the, what is the source files original source files information how many sources we have used on that particular application to showing that process information we will use that we will use that this query dependency let's say duplicate table and reference table two, two sides are while creating that uh, duplicate table while creating the duplicate table from parent table parent table whatever the applied steps it is having all the applied steps will coming into duplicate table all the applied steps will coming into duplicate table let's say if we coming to reference table while creating the reference table while creating the reference table while creating the reference table whatever the applied steps we have implemented on parent whatever the applied steps we have implemented on parent on parent that modifications that modifications will impact to reference table will impact to reference table but but it will not show that applied steps but it will not show that applied steps it will not show that applied steps next point under duplicate table is 
your original database file. For the duplicate table, the source is your original database file. For reference, the source is for reference, the source is source is parent file parent file in bracket of from which file we have generated which file we have generated next thing next point after creation duplicate table after creation of duplicate table if we implement any kind of modifications on parent table if we implement any any kind of modifications on parent table that will not impact to that will not impact to duplicate table that will not impact to duplicate table why because of source source will be database source will be database file while once three after completion of creation reference table reference table after completion of creating the reference table whatever the modifications whatever the modifications if we no, sorry if we implement any kind of modifications on that will impact to reference table next point if we generate duplicate table if we generate duplicate table we can able to delete parent table if we generate reference table we cannot able to delete we cannot able to delete we cannot able to delete hmm. parent table parent table anedi delete chey hmm. chudandi Student ID and I have a table that can suggest such a student ID. We need to know the table on it. Student ID. Okay. Student name and I have a table of information. In book a table of Jesse. Student ID. Subject ID. మార్క్స్ అనేది ఇంకో టేబుల్ లో ఉంది ఇంకొక టేబుల్ లో సబ్జెక్ట్ ఐడి సబ్జెక్ట్ నేమ్ ఓకేనా ఇప్పుడు మీకు ఇక్కడ ఎన్ని టేబుల్స్ డిఫరెంట్ టేబుల్స్ ఉన్నాయా డిఫరెంట్ టేబుల్స్ డిఫరెంట్ టేబుల్స్ ఉన్నాయి డిఫరెంట్ స్ట్రక్చర్స్ ఉన్నాయి లెట్స్ ఇప్పుడు మనం మెజు కొరీస్ ఎందుకు యూజ్ చేస్తామంటే ఇక్కడ నాకు ఈ టేబుల్ కు స్టూడెంట్ నేమ్ తెచ్చుకోవాలి ఈ టేబుల్ నుంచి స్టూడెంట్ మార్క్స్ తెచ్చుకోవాలి మన కంప్లీట్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ అంతా నేను ఒకటే టేబుల్ లో ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ పాస్ ఆన్ చేయాలి కంప్లీట్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ అంతా ఒకటే టేబుల్ లో పాస్ ఆన్ చేయాలి స్టూడెంట్ ఐడి అనేది పాస్ ఆన్ చేయాలి స్టూడెంట్ నేమ్ అనేది పాస్ ఆన్ చేయాలి టేబుల్ లో కావాలి సబ్జెక్ట్ ఐడి నాకు ఇదే టేబుల్ లో కావాలి సారీ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఐడి కూడా కావాలి అలాగే సబ్జెక్ట్ ఐడి సబ్జెక్ట్ నేమ్ కావాలి మార్క్స్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ కావాలి కంప్లీట్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ అంతా ఒకటే టేబుల్ లో కావాలి అనుకుంటే మనం ఏం చేస్తామంటే జాయింట్ పరీస్ కెళ్తాం అంటే ఇప్పుడు ఇక్కడ మీరు అబ్జర్వ్ చేసినారంటే ఇంకొక టేబుల్ లో నుంచి కాలం స్పెచ్ చేసుకుంటున్నాం కాలం స్పెచ్ చేసుకుంటున్నామా రోజు స్పెచ్ చేసుకుంటున్నామా 
కారమ్స్ పెంచేసుకుంటాం సబ్జెక్ట్ ఐడి సబ్జెక్ట్ నేమ్ సబ్జెక్ట్ నేమ్ అండ్ స్టూడెంట్ నేమ్ అనే కాలమ్స్ పెంచ్ చేసుకుంటున్నాం వెన్ ఎవర్ వీ వాంట్ టు ఫెచ్ సమ్ ఎక్స్ట్రా కాలమ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ టు దిస్ టేబుల్ దెన్ వీ విల్ గో టు మెట్ పరిస్ సి అప్ టు దట్ ఈస్ క్లియర్ క్లియర్ ఆ నాట్ ఒక టేబుల్ లో నుంచి ఇంకో టేబుల్ లో కాలమ్స్ తెచ్చుకోవాలి అనుకుంటే మెట్ పరిస్ అనే దానికి వెళ్తాం ఓకే లెట్ సే త్రీ సి అనే పర్సన్ ఉన్నారు ఓకే లెట్ సే వన్ జీరో టూ వచ్చేసి వన్ జీరో టూ వచ్చేసి టూ సబ్జెక్ట్స్ ఫెయిల్ అయినాడు టూ సబ్జెక్ట్స్ ఫెయిల్ అయ్యాడు ఏ ఏ సబ్జెక్ట్స్ అంటే టూ జీరో ఫైవ్ టూ త్రీ జీరో టూ అనే సబ్జెక్ట్ ఫెయిల్ అయ్యాడు ఎన్ని మార్క్స్ వచ్చినాయంటే దీంట్లో ఏమో సెవెన్ థర్టీ ఫోర్ మార్క్స్ దీంట్లో వచ్చేసి థర్టీ టూ మార్క్స్ వచ్చినాయి ఇప్పుడు ఈ రెండు రికార్డు కూడా వన్ ఏనా ఏ బి అనే పర్సెంట్ ఏనా మ్యాచ్ అయితే ప్రింట్ చేస్తుంది మ్యాచ్ కాకపోతే వదిలేస్తుంది 